Well, I started playing when I was about 10 years old. My dad had played his whole life, and so we had a basketball hoop in our backyard, and I always played out back with him, my older brother, even my younger sister. And uh, so we would just start out there. And when I was about 10, I joined my first league and started playing. I've been playing ever since. Uh, I play point guard and shooting guard pretty much because I'm the smallest guy on the court. And uh, I like those positions because it's kind of controlling the game. I set the pace, and I kind of like to be um, in control, leading my team. I think that it's an important position, and I really like being in the front court, working with the guys, and it's just the little guy on the court scrapping, and that's really the position that I like to be in. I think I'll miss the most is the brotherhood uh, with our asylum, the number one in Orange County, like the past three years, I think. And um, I think I really miss playing in front of them, playing for them. More importantly, I think I'll miss playing with all the guys out on the court, all the guys that I've grown up with, all the other seniors. And so that's going to be pretty tough to leave them. So prior general is similar to a uh, student body president. Uh, it's a little more in depth because of our priory system that we have students teaching students. So as prior general, I help set up those class periods. I help organize uh, the activities they do. I help organize, like we play flag football during priory, so I'm out there running that. And more importantly though, I'm kind of just a role model of what the school is and what the school is promoting. And so at all times I have to be on my best behavior, following dress code, and really just being a model student for the others to show that it is possible to have sports and have schoolwork and have leadership and still get it done. So during my freshman year, I really wanted to get involved. And so me and my friend, we started a club named Friars for Care. And our goal was to help families that have been affected by pediatric cancer. My mom works at the City of Hope. So um, she works with cancer patients all the time, especially pediatric patients. So our goal was to raise money through little fundraisers like bake sales and rafflings just to donate, we donated gas cards to the families just to help them out in their struggles because we know that it can't, can't be easy traveling those long distances to and from the hospital. So trying to help in any way that we can. I think there's two big role models in my life. The first one being my grandpa. Uh, he started as a poor Hispanic in Garden Grove. Uh, growing up, he worked in the fields and then he went to college, was a colonel in the Marines, and then ended up getting his law degree, was a uh, lawyer at first and then became a judge and worked his way up to superior court judge for over 30 years and his story of just hard work really proves uh, that you can do it that you can get through those tough times and how you can go from poor to successful but his humility is really something that speaks to me because he's won I think three lifetime achievement awards from different bar associations and not one of them is out on display he hasn't bragged about it to anyone. I found out all about it through my mom and through other people telling me about all of his success. And so his humility through it all, his humility through his success really just shows that um, money isn't the only thing, that it's the relationships that he's created over the years that, that really speaks volumes to me. Well, after season last year, uh, we had the elections for prior general. And immediately after I learned that I was prior general, I left for a retreat we call Kairos, um, which is just a week of spending time with God, spending time with others, and really just getting to know yourself and getting to know your faith. And I think that the timing of that retreat was just um, perfect. It couldn't have been better. I think that the reflection I did on that retreat really helped me to prepare myself and prepare my faith for uh, the difficult times ahead, the times when I get home at eight o'clock and still have homework and leadership to do. And so every time that I'm struggling, every time that I feel like I can't get through something, I just look to God and I say, I need your help right now. And I'm here today. So it's just proof that I can get through it. And I think that that Kairos experience really prepared me for all the situations ahead.